how y'all doing out there? What's happening? This video is going to be about Joe Montana said the difference between greatest and best. Uh, he has a problem with acknowledging him and Tom Brady are considered the GOATs, but he said the best quarterback, in his personal opinion, was Dan Marino. He says Patrick Mahomes has a chance to be considered the greatest. I ain't got no problem with Joe Montana said. I, I was watching Rob Parker and, and Chris Broussard, then I watched Michael Wilburn and, and uh and Tony Kornheiser, and they seemed like they had an issue with Joe Montana because he said Dan Marino, because they're trying to use credentials and all that. And they and and uh Wilburn brought up John Elway, who had an incredible arm, incredible talent. But Marino's quick release. The same things that Peyton Manning got much beloved by Marino was even quicker. If you saw Dan Marino back in the day, you know, yeah, he went to one Super Bowl. They got blew up by the 49ers, and that's the only time he went. But at that time, he had no running game. But everything he did then, he would have been shattering records today, you know. Now, some people may think it's because them both being Italian boys that he decides to give Marino some love. That might be on the low level, but I don't think so. As a Buffalo Bills fan, Dan Marino was the dude that you wanted to beat in AOC. Don't and the Marx brothers, Clayton and Duper, were bad. Okay, those were some bad cats. But let's not act like this that the Dolphins were Eric Coriel with Dan Fouts and Kellen Winslow and John Jefferson and Charlie Joyner. Let's not get Kellen Winslow Sr. Let's not get it twisted. Okay? Let's not go there. And Don Shula is one of the GOAT coaches. However, and he went with the Super Bowl a couple years prior to Marino with David Woolley. I remember that. And he could pretty much take anybody because Shula had him, but he didn't win. Same thing happened with Marino. They just went against a better 49er team. And one thing about back in the day that I can verify and clarify, teams in the NFC were better. Like, the, if you were great, you were great. You know, like... That 49er team that beat Marino and them were great. They actually were set precedent to what the Bears did the following because their defense was just as stacked as their all. It was a different day and time. You had a free agency, and you didn't have the kind of pull and move that you got now, and you had running game. Yeah, 49ers did everything that you do now with Roger Craig, underrated. Run 4,000, catch at 4,000, underrated. Everything they did. But I can respect what Joe Montana is saying. I ain't got no problem with it, you know. And I do see Mahomes being in that GOAT debate because he's already top three as far as I'm concerned right now. I ain't got no problem with giving Dan Marino his due. That quick release, he was something else. I still remember that game back in 83 when the Bills played Miami, that first game in the Orange Bowl, and he debuted against us, and that was a 30-35. The Bills won that game, but that was a crazy game. And Marino, oof. He could, he could give you a headache. He was something else. That release. I mean, if he got to play in today's game, but you the quarterbacks get protected big time, and you got all the kind of counter moves that you got today, you know, he'd be scary. His numbers would be ridiculous. Imagine he got the greatest show on turf with Kurt Warner had with the Rams with that. Put him with something like that. Now, he had about two or three rings easily. And his stats would be, Cat probably would have thrown for almost 100,000. Because you had to be there to see Marino. He was a beast. So I ain't got no problem with Joe Montana. The, this narrative about the greatest and the best, Pat Riley said it too. I got no problem with it. I can respect Joe Montana because before Brady, he was my favorite all-time that I consider the GOAT quarterback. And I do hold Joe Montana in high regards. Please hit like, subscribe. And I welcome thoughts and opinions. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share it if you like. And I'm out. Peace.